John Hunter, can you hear us? Yep, you got me. Yep, we have you loud and clear. We are now joined by John Hunter Nemechek, and we're going to go right into questions. And our first question is going to come from Jeff Magliaschetti. Go ahead with your question, Jeff. Thanks, man. Hey, John, thank you for joining us today. You know, I was wondering if you could please tell us what it's like to to be a bit of an elder statesman over at Kyle Busch Motorsports with uh, two rookies in tow, and you, of course, with some with both truck and cup experience under your belt. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of crazy being called the experienced guy at only 23 years old, um, but I feel like the the path through the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series has definitely uh, broadened the spectrum of younger drivers coming up through being able to run. Uh, I think it's nine or 10 races now a year when you're 16 years old. And it kind of makes that as a stepping stone as you've seen Chandler Smith um, do that with Kyle Busch Motorsports over the last year or so. And now uh, running full time for Kyle Busch Motorsports uh, alongside myself. So um it's been fun. Uh, there's definitely been a lot of questions that have been asked, but at the same time, um, I, I feel like Kyle has kind of mentioned it a few times about trying to bring in a Matt Crafton type like guy. So it's uh, nice to be kind of labeled as that in a sense, but hopefully uh, we can go out and win more races and more championships than Matt has. Um, but still to this day, still being able to ask Kyle questions and kind of lean on him. Um, he has a lot of experience and uh, that that's something that we all have to kind of look into and try and pick his brain about. And it's only something that can help myself and the younger drivers as well. Terrific. Thanks. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Our next question is going to come from Claire B. Lang. Go ahead with the question, Claire. Go ahead, Claire. Claire, you're on mute, my friend. There there, I know. I was trying to unmute, and the more I tapped on it, the more it wouldn't do <laughs> anything. So I finally stuck a pencil to it, and uh, it unmuted. Thank you. All right. Talk about the Xfinity side of things. Uh, there was an announcement today that you're going to be racing Xfinity as well. And what that lends to your truck effort, do you think? Yeah, so um, being able to go and run a few Xfinity races this year with Sam Hunt is definitely going to be something that I'm looking forward to. Um, Sam is probably one of the youngest owners uh, in the garage and um, someone that has had a, a lot of passion and a lot of dedication through the sport. And I, I feel like he uh, is kind of running his team that the same way that I was brought up uh, about just limited number of people uh, grinding it out. Um, very small team, but it's been amazing to see what he's been able to do uh, with his team in such a short period of time. So uh, I look forward to going and running uh, a few races with him and just going and turning laps and trying to get more experience under my belt. And hopefully we can have uh, a car and uh, we can put forth a, a full-fledged effort to be able to go and try and win a race or two, and, um, more or less just go try and perform the best that we can. And can you talk about the road course and this weekend, kind of how you're set up for it, what, what you think you'll learn from it, how poised you think you are to tackle that one? I think it's going to be crazy, but I guess I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the road course this weekend. I feel like the the biggest thing for us is we came out of Daytona um, with a solid points day and we want to continue to do the same. Um, it would be awesome to be able to go there and get a win and uh, lock ourselves into the playoffs in the truck series. But um, overall, we just want to run the best that we can every single week and just have a shot to contend for the win. Um, I feel like my team and everyone at Kyle Busch Motorsports has uh, been prepping for this for uh, a while and then being able to run it last year and have some decent notes to go back on and look at um, from the drivers that were there last year. Uh, hopefully we can kind of tune that to um, what we want uh, in a truck. But overall, uh, I feel like the experience from running the cup race last year, it being so much longer is definitely going to change uh, part of the outlook on how we look at this race and uh, how we can manage ourselves through stage one, stage two, and the final stage of the race to put us in contention. And real quick, how does the Xfinity select races, how will that help your truck effort? Will that give you rhythm? Will it, do you think it'll benefit your truck effort? Um, I, it definitely can't hurt. I don't think, uh, the more laps, the better, the more laps that you're turning, the more experience, the more time that you're in a seat. I feel like it all helps. Thanks a lot. And good luck this weekend. Thank you. Our next question is going to come from Chris Estrada. Go ahead with your question, Chris. 
John, thanks for joining us today. Um, just going back to the Xfinity side, um, is there a, a ballpark figure for the number of races you'll be doing with Sam Hunt Racing? And do you have uh, any input on where you want to race, i.e. is there a track type that you and the team were focusing on or do you not really have a preference for track types? Um, I think the first two races, definitely off the bat, um, I believe, are Dover and Richmond um, for us. Uh, I'm not sure what other races that we're possibly looking at running, um, but I know that those two are, are the first ones on the list for us. So um, I like short tracks. I like Dover. I like Richmond. Uh, I feel like that's somewhere that uh, Sam and his team can definitely excel and uh, look forward to seeing what we can do in his uh, number 26 Toyota Supra. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is going to come from Davey Seagal. Go over the question, Davey. Thanks, Matt. John Hunter, uh, you, you spoke about how you see some similarities and comparisons between what you did growing up and in the last few years over at Namco with what Sam's doing. I'm curious, you know, like when were you introduced to Sam and when did this possibility come about as being, you know, a reality? Yeah, I feel like Sam and I have known about each other for a really long time um, through mutual friends or whatever it may be. Um, I know he was running uh, back in the K&N East series there for a while uh, as I was coming up and we had talked about running races before and really nothing ever happened. So um, I, I feel like we've known each other for a while. Um, I, I feel like uh, this whole deal came about uh, earlier this year when I made the swap back to Toyota uh, with Kyle Busch Motorsports. Um, so it's, uh, it's something that I feel like has been on our radar and on Sam's radar as well. Um, just we want to help each other. The, the best that we can um he wants to provide a, a great car that can go and try and win races and i want to give him the best feedback that i know how to try and help him grow his team to where he wants it to be um so i feel like it, it's going to be a mutual effort and a, a mutual sense where we can both uh, help each other a lot and once you signed the truck deal for the year did you have any inkling that you wanted to dip your toe back into the xfinity series or did this opportunity kind of come about organically uh, it kind of came about organically, um, but I, as a driver, want to race everything that I possibly can, whether it's sports cars, NASCAR, um, whatever it may be. Um, I'm, I'm all for driving whatever I can and racing whatever I can. Uh, the more laps and uh, the more that you're in contention to win races, the better. Um, and you're always learning. Every time that you're turning laps, you're, you're learning and uh, putting knowledge and information into your notebook and uh, something that you can hold on to and uh, put into your, your bank for a long time. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Our, our next story is going to come from Jacob Seelman. Go ahead with the question, Jacob. Thanks, Matt. John Hunter, uh, thanks for taking the time this afternoon. Uh, looking at Kyle Busch Motorsports and the opportunity that you guys have this year, I know it's it's hard to kind of gauge too much off one race and a super speedway race at that. But, you know, in the time that you've worked with the team so far, do you, do you feel like you guys have the footing to to maybe go out and take the early part of this season by storm if you can you know catch the breaks that you need to to go out and perform? I definitely hope so. Um, I feel like the, the team that I have around me um, from Kyle, uh, all of the Toyota staff, um, to Eric Phillips, my crew chief, to Jimmy, car chief, to everyone on, on my team that is putting in effort at building trucks and everyone back at Kyle Busch Motorsports. I feel like they are giving us the equipment that we need to be able to go out and uh, be in contention to win races every single week. Um, honestly, I, I hope that I would be able to go and uh, win every single week, but also that's not reality. So um, we want to do everything that we can and everything in our power to be able to go and uh, just show up and contend. Um, and I, I definitely feel like everyone involved is going to be able to do that. And uh, I, I feel like our team is very strong and very capable of doing that as well. Has it been refreshing in, in a sense to not have to, to be at the shop thrashing on them, you know, yourself every week just to get to the racetrack and kind of be able to, to sit back and focus on driving a little bit more? Um, I definitely still like turning wrenches and working on things. And uh, I definitely feel like that's a part of my blood and a part of my life and something that I love to do. Um, but it is nice being able to focus on studying and uh, everything as a driver, everything that you need to do as a driver to try and maintain your, your maximum performance and optimize your opportunity every single weekend that you're at the racetrack. 
Our next question is going to come from Mike Bronco. Go ahead with the question, Mike. Hey, John. Thank you for taking the time here. Uh, congrats on the recent news of you running the Partial Xfinity Series schedule this year. When you spoke to Sam Hunt, what are some expectations for your performance, especially after a top 10 finish from Brandon this past week at Daytona? Yeah, um, I, d I definitely feel like Sam is pushing his team in the right direction. Uh, I feel like Toyota is definitely helping Sam as well and uh, trying to help him grow his program. So um, it, it's nice to be able to see a young owner like Sam kind of start an Xfinity team um, from owning a, a NASCAR uh, Canaan East team back in the day um, and being able to kind of come up through. Um, so it's nice being able to have a, a young owner. I feel like that's definitely what the sport uh, needs at this time. Um, I, I feel like that, that that's going to be the next wave of owners in our sport as well. So um, hopefully we can have uh, some really strong runs and we can help each other and uh, just have the best performance that we can week in, week out. Great. And can you tell me some differences in ownership style so far that you've seen uh, between someone like Kyle Busch and Sam Hunt? <laughs> um, I feel like it's two different spectrums there. Uh, I feel like Kyle's organization is definitely established, established at Kyle Busch Motorsports. And um, they've, they've proven time and time again that they have winning drivers and they, they've produced uh, champions that are now in the Cup Series. And I feel like with Sam's program, um, he, he wants to get there. He wants to be established. He wants to be able to give back uh, to the racing world and have drivers that are capable of winning uh, races and championships and grow his organization to that. Um, it's in the very early stages for Sam, and it's been amazing to see what he's been able to accomplish with uh, who he's had behind the wheel so far um, in the last, I guess, year, um, not even a year. Our next question is going to come from Marty Sikawa. Go ahead with a question, Marty. Thanks, Matt. Hey, John Hunter. Hope you're well. Uh, just real quick, I was kind of, I kind of wanted to get your reaction to uh, your former teammate uh, from last year, uh, Michael McDowell's uh, winning the Daytona 500. Did you happen to stay up for that too? Yeah, I, I stayed up for the race. Um, it was definitely really, really neat to be able to see Michael uh, go out there and win the Daytona 500. And congrats to uh, Front Row Motorsports and everyone involved. Uh, I know how much work went into uh, uh, all their cars last year. And um, and Michael was right about every quote that he had said. He, he kept grinding it out. Um, he's been one of those guys that has been in this sport for a long time. And uh, I think one of his quotes was, uh, it's hard knowing that you, you could be in the way every single week, but when the opportunity comes, you have to capitalize on it. And Michael was able to do that. Um, he's definitely a student of the sport and works really, really hard for everything that he's been able to have. And uh, definitely his relationship with God is, uh, is up there as well. So um, it, it's amazing to see um, what he was able to do with, with that team this past weekend. And um, even last year, we knew that super speedways were our shot uh, to be able to go out and try and win races so um huge congrats to michael happy for him and happy for everyone at front row motorsports that's involved in that team and organization awesome thank you good luck to you this weekend thank you well john hunter it's so good to see you again and uh, good luck this weekend at the daytona road course thank you i appreciate it